Okay, and then let's move on straight towards game two. First off, we go. We're gonna be able to see Sprinter coming out with Dream with Trump Card Detention, Hunt alongside with Berserker here. We're gonna be able to pull our Leech Warrior out here as well, looking for Yi Hua. Uh, but the only thing you can do here, really, are you really gonna chase after Merc first? Okay, Mercenary first chase. Could be the worst idea, could be the best idea. We'll just have to see how it goes right now, but seems like we're gonna be able to see where toy merchant is here as well toy toy is a little bit of a stronger area than you would have expect i won't lie but even with that on might if we can leech and then throw down the ca uh, oh wait 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 never mind we uh Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. It's still a sandwich situation. It, it is still a sandwich situation. It is still a sandwich situation. Uh, but it seems like right now we didn't put the catapult down. Wait a second, I was saying that is really badly done from your side. Oh, that's gonna be a normal hit there registered immediately as well. That is not good, not good at all. Dream wish main body, sprinter, main body, patroller, main body patroller, our followers coming back. Main body patroller coming down here immediately. Okay, we did manage to get a bite there as well. That is not bad. That is definitely not bad there. Uh we're looking for a flight. Can we get the flight? Can we get we cannot get a flight here? We don't have flight wheel as well. Oh, that's gonna be a terror shot going down. Ah, toy merchant, where was your catapult? What were you thinking when you were standing there? What were you thinking when you you were standing there uh, th i won't lie it definitely was better to catapult and get 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 a leech hit instead of getting a main follower here because now sprinter has a full map could potential a uh, map map control potential here as well um okay then we don't see anyone nearby but you also i don't think you can really sell against this dream wish properly as well so with that in mind it seems like we're gonna okay we are selling oh we're selling Oh, that's interesting. We're actually selling. Hmm. Hmm. We're gonna be able to get Kip Tinnitus from very far away, so we're gonna get Tinnitus from Big Bolt. But that Tinnitus doesn't seem like Sprinter is gonna be able to find out where the nearby survivors are. But it. Uh, but like, I mean, Barmaid's a little bit too close for comfort here as well. I won't lie about that. It's gonna be. Uh, do, should we do the rescue? I don't think you should do a rescue here. Rescuing here is way too risky. Especially with the fact that there's a leech ready for you to, to, to be leeched onto you immediately afterwards as well. No, never mind. We're going to come in for rescue. Yihua being spotted out here immediately. That's going to be a normal... Oh, no. Oh, oh. Oh, wait. Oh, we hit it in the chair. Ah. Um, uh, headed to chat we could could do we want to open blink here no we're not going to open blink we're going to go look around to see who we can chase after first but like patient should be able to open the last life machine there as well that's going to be mercenary no hit on towards mercy just so we decide not to elbow pad away and instead take our normal leech hit okay that's that's a good that's a good plan that's a very very solid plan taking taking normal leeches a very 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 solid plan right here but the cypher machines are pretty far away the last few cypher machines are pretty far away here mercenary getting a doveling meanwhile barmaid being able to get the pickup there as well well, and seems like our patient should be able to decode near this area here as well but it seems like dream which is going to be mainly looking for the last three cypher machine lock here this is kind of why we went after toy merchant in this area but that's 80 percent cypher machine might be just a tad bit scary there for you okay barmaid barmaid would be getting a normal hit there oh never mind we got the bit though we still managed to get the bit here though and of course that's going to be a doubling drunk up here immediately now then we most likely will be forced to use uh blink here from sprinter side because if you don't blink down it's going to be really bad barmy having no doubling here remaining we also don't have a doubling speed boost okay blink comes out that's fine that's fine that's fine no flywheel okay at least there's no flywheel good news is that there is at least no flywheel uh, but even with yihua's side right now hmm so then the cypher well it's a four man elimination here for sprinter isn't it because last three cypher machine will be 100 locked forever and ever and ever dot amen that's what's gonna happen. Yihua got the normal hit. Wait, it's a double down situation. Wait, it's a double down situation. Hold on. Pros pop too. Okay, okay, it's a double down situation. And, and, and we're gonna be forced to use our second elbow pad there as well. Is patient coming to rescue? Patient has to come into rescue right here. Patient has to come into rescue right here. But even if patient comes into rescue, mercenary needs to go look for that cipher machine. Ah, but it's gonna be locked forever and ever and ever. Die. Amen. And, um, can we open a new cipher machine? Okay, we're gonna go upstairs. We're gonna go upstairs looking for a new cipher machine to open here as well. Barmaid has to pull away. No matter what happens here, Barmaid has to pull away as much as possible. 
Uh, Blink has been forced out. Well, Patient and Barmaid both have to pull away. Okay, so we know what to do now. We do see where the sandwich situation is coming from now. And... And Barmaid's side. No, Barmaid's running back towards this area, though. This is not good for the survivors. This is really not good for the survivors. We're deleting for Patient. But for Mercenary, he's kind of just staying, standing there idle as well. Uh, that's it. Oh, that didn't hit. Oh, my God, that didn't hit. Um, 60 seconds, 60 seconds. 30 seconds there as well. Okay, we, ju we just kind of have to wait for Blink here then. We were able to force survivors off a lot of the items here, but we are going to have to see how it goes from here on out. Okay then. Okay then, okay then, okay then, okay then, okay then. Let's see here. Hoha is pulling away immediately as well. We do have a leech ready here for patience. That's gonna be that's gonna be Yihua jumping down just to find out Dream which is actually nearby. Ah, that hurts a lot. Patience is right behind there as well. Meanwhile, Barmaid is currently alone with her own leech. Barmaid is alone with her own leech. Patient having to use the poke here. Okay, hooks away. That's fine. That's fine. You just pull a bit of a distance here. That's all what you need to do. And of course, Mercenary currently being upstairs trying to delete here as much as possible. Eight seconds left until Blink is ready. Uh, we need to get rid of as many things here as possible. But like, I guess, I guess the good thing about playing Dream Witch is. If you if you if you have the last if you if the survivors really just give you that last three side from machine it's a four man elimination game. If the survivors really just give you that last three side from machine it's a four man elimination game here and of course sprints are I'm quite sure sprints are calculated this as, as well. That's why we went after Toy Merchant first. But um in this case scenario, Toy Merchant actually not leaving big boat, it was a big issue. Ay yeah 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 maybe that initial rescue was needed just so we can finish off that 78% cipher machine so maybe we shouldn't have sold there in that case scenario. Uh we're currently opening a completely new cipher machine, but it seems like we're gonna be able to get patients leech upstairs here as well towards where mercenary is. So that's gonna be two cipher machines locked and it's now a four-man elimination game. There's now a four-man elimination game. It's going to be a very slow death. It is going to be a very slow death. We are going to speed it up here by a little bit. Okay, that's going to blink open. So that's going to need to blink open. Mercenary should be going down here immediately. Meanwhile, we are going to be scouting out to see where Patience tonight is. is. You need to touch the cipher machine, don't you do? Okay, there's the crows. We were just talking about it. You have... Um... Okay then. Okay then, okay then, okay then, okay then, okay then, okay then. If that's the case, we blinked out here immediately from Dream Witch's site, and Dream Witch is now looking for... Looking for Barmaid. Never mind. Oh, Patient is... <laughs> okay, Barmaid is dead though. Barmaid is dead on chair as well though, so we could just pick it up here. And uh, even if you struggle free, Barmaid has to contain... Well... By the time Blink, like the thing, the only thing Barmaid is betting, well, Sprinter is cheering because he has Blink ready. Barmaid is betting on using, basically using, um, Pocket Watch to last for as long as possible, but it seems like it won't be possible here anymore. Blink has been not used, but of course we did manage to force the Pocket Watch out. So then, let's congratulate the four-man elimination here for Sprinter, it seems. Spawn followers should be able to get a catch up here immediately, and let's move on then, shall we? Okay, let's move on towards the game. It's going to be Pepe coming out once again. Now, you watch going against this type of thing. And we do see the Embalmer here coming out as well. Which means it should be a guaranteed tie game here for the survivors to take down. That four-man elimination game coming from Sprinter's side, though. It is going to be really, really, really good. Because we're... Okay, basically, this four-man elimination means that you... you you won against the CN team. You won against CM team. But for Pepe here, we're gonna go confined space alongside with insolence, it seems. Okay, confined space, insolence. It's gonna be as tough as possible. That's gonna be fast powder breaking there as well. And realizing it's a fast powder breaking Schmidty here. We'll see the light of day. But of course, the hover is gonna be able to bring him away. No, no. Uh, we do have another slow debuff there. We do have another slow debuff there, but it seems like the hopper wasn't able to pull that much of a distance there too. Pepe should be able to activate a movement speed boost here. And yeah, you should be able to get a normal hit. Okay, that normal hit seems like it's fine. We did open max presence there as well, which is good news. Uh, we're currently trying to pull in as much distance here as possible. Meanwhile, trying to slow down our aeroplane is... Oh, it seems like the slowdown was kind of useful there as well. Seven seconds until our next jetpack is ready. Ready. That's a very nice 70 second containment. Very, very, very nice 70 second containment right there. And we we do have a next typhoon ready. But you know what? This is more than enough for a tie game. Especially. Espe oh, okay. Those are really, 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 really faulty um, jetpacks there. But it's still enough for a tie game. It's still enough for a tie game. You have first officer rescue once and then sell. 
That's it. That's all what you have to do. First off, you rescue once before happens. Hmm. We probably don't realize. We probably don't realize. Don't realize that it's actually a uh, window lock because Pepe didn't really vault over a window there as well. Meanwhile, Roland here will be spotted out immediately. But I guess for Roland's side, he will be facing Typhoon. Oh, that's going to be a pullback. Are we going to be able to get a hit? We're going to be able to hit, get the hit to force the rescue here. Okay, the earlier the better, I guess. In this case, side note, we didn't get a hit on towards um, this first officer, Jay, which is a little bit unfortunate. But that's also still fine because, you know what? Our main target here is going to be the aeroplane. Hey, aeroplane's got pulled back and it's going to be a slow vault over. We didn't hit, which is fine. Because we kind of want to guarantee the hit so that he can't pull any more distance. Then with two full cipher machines remaining here. All we have to do is for first officer just to come in towards small boat and sell. That's all we have to do here. So first officer has to come in here immediately to give tinnitus. We need to give as much tinnitus here as possible. Uh, we got the dash out. Okay, we got the dash out. We have to be very careful here. We don't really know where the hunter is. We don't want to aim for a double down situation. But we see where first off. Pocket watch, pocket watch, pocket watch. Okay, okay, okay. We got a watch. We got we got the watch. At least we got the watch. Did we get the typhoon back? We didn't get the typhoon back. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, we should TP here. Pibe should TP here. Pibe should TP here because there's no one else coming in. Okay, we're going to be able to get a TP back. And of course, Ento running away immediately there as well. Very nicely done by my leg. But my leg might just be facing death here because Ento gets hard countered by Nightwatch. Ouch. Okay, that's going to be a normal hit. We do have dashes ready to go. That's going to be a first dash catching up here immediately as well. We do have movement speed boost, but that's going to be a hit. That's going to be a second hit. We have to break the pilot there. You cannot, you cannot vault over it. You have to break over it. You have to break it. You have to break it. You have to break it. Okay, jumps over. We're going to follow up immediately here as well. Tie Tempest. Tempest. Tempex. Okay, my leg seeing that it's a window lock. We realize that there's no detention here. The Cypher machine is currently primed. Okay, okay, okay. The cipher machine is primed. The cipher machine is primed. The cipher machine is primed. Uh, Roland having to rotate here away, away from here. That's 80% cipher machine that we cannot down near. But, um, okay, a little bit tough. A little bit tough. We did go down there. We did go down there. And there is. There is another few survivors nearby there as well. I won't lie. My leg uses up self-heal. And two survivor forces the cypher machine to pop. I think it, it is possible. I do think it is possible to do that. But let's see here. Actually, no. You can just get problems to rescue twice. Just get problems to rescue twice. You can get problems to rescue twice if you're going to open a completely new cypher machine. It should be fine here. Uh, so, you need to get one rescue before half and one in rescue. After half, the first rescue has to be no coffin rescue. But the second rescue, you can you can force Pepe to actually hit you and then coffin. And then you can coffin yourself. That's what you should do there. Cypher machine, 30% survivors can definitely still get a tie. It's still definitely 100% tieable. Paul Blums has to come in. Are we going to go be after half rescue, guys? We can't go after half rescue because Pepe is just going to come out and look for more. Are we're gonna be able to find a bomber. We are gonna be able to find a bomber right there in bomber accessory. They're currently being ah, uh, that's a hit. That's a TP, TP, TP. The TP went to who are we gonna hit here? We're gonna be able to get the hit on towards and bomber. Okay, that's no problem. Up the 65% cyber machine and bomber is not gonna be using up self heater right there as well. But Roland is going down, and um, there goes the London Bridge. There goes the London Bridge. Okay, it's still okay. We can aim for a one man escape. We can aim for a one-man escape. 85% cipher machine there. But of course we know. Of course we know. Pepe wants um, Polymons to use up self heal. So my neck. Just pop. Just pop. Just pop. Pop, 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 pop. Hello. Pop, 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 pop. What are we waiting for? Pop. Okay. That's what we need. Okay. That's what we need. They know that there's no detention. They know that there's no detention. They also know. Uh, and then like. Paul Ninjas will just stay on the ground for as long as he can, right? And then, like, he'll, he can, he can basically calm himself if he actually gets shared. But it seems like for our, it seems like for our entomologists, our entomologists currently uh, hiding as well. We're running straight towards the, uh, running behind the windmill there. Is Pepe gonna, Pepe's gonna double back? Pepe's gonna double back. We think that, oh, we got tonight is. Wait a second, we got tonight is. Paul, okay. And Bomber got up. And Bomber got up. And Bomber get up. And Bomber's running towards the other exit gate right now. Ah, uh, my leg. Why are we standing there? No, what? What the? the no, man. 
Okay, that's gonna be the dash over. That's gonna be the dash over. My leg. Uh, we don't have bees just yet, but we we can tank two hits. Okay, you know what? We can tank two hits. It's fine. It's fine. The first hit register here. It's okay. We can put down all the pallets nearby and play a really long jumpy game. Uh, we're gonna break the pallet there. So, okay, never mind. Uh, that's gonna be boost. That's going to be the bees helped out here a lot. We're gonna be able to get a pull in. Can we get another speed boost? No, the bees came in clutch. Very nicely done in my leg, but we didn't get the pallet down. Okay, uh, self heal was used by Ento. We're gonna get a TP over there as well. The gags gate is not open currently, and 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 our four our tie game. Let's congratulate Pepe for the four man elimination here. Let's congratulate Pepe for the four man elimination here. Um, anyways, that's brilliant. Moving on straight towards game three.